Ransomware is an application that encrypts all the files on your computer so that you cannot have access to those files. It then demands a ransom in order to decrypt those encrypted files. Now, during this pandemic period, there's definitely an increase in cyber crimes, including new ransomwares coming out and affecting computers of thousands of people. Someone I know also got infected recently and he had to give up all of his files because the ransomware demanded like around a thousand dollars to decrypt the files and he simply cannot afford it. Also, even if someone pays the ransom, there is no guarantee that the files will be decrypted and you will be returned access to your files. Because hey, the ransomware's author or whoever is running this ransomware business can simply ignore you once you pay the ransom. Before starting this video, a huge shout out to Halil for becoming a member of my channel. If you want to become a member of my channel too, you can click on the join button and you will also get some exclusive perks like getting a shout out in one of my videos. So if you want, you can check it out. So here I got with me a ransomware. I'm going to execute it and let's see what happens. You can see the loading cycle beside the cursor, so that means something is probably happening because of the file we just executed, but we can't see anything. Here I created a sample text file like this, so we'll be seeing how this file gets encrypted. Okay, so nothing happened so far. Let's open the task manager and see if the process is still running. And yes, it is still running. Oh, I think my internet connection is turned off, so let me actually turn it on and let's see now if anything's gonna happen. Okay, so... It seems like it is doing its job because the task manager option, as you can see, is grayed out, which means I cannot open my task manager now. But fortunately, I already have the task manager opened. So if I go to the startup tab, I can see that the program added itself to the list of startup programs. So in other words, it's going to run automatically every time you start up your computer. Now coming back to the sample text file, you can see here the extension of the file changed to dot m a a s that means it is now encrypted we simply cannot read the text file until we decrypt it the ransomware has done its job and here we have a text file that says read me and if i open it there is this text it just lets you know that you have been affected by this ransomware and that you need to pay a ransom if you want to get back your files so basically they're demanding a ransom of 980 dollars to decrypt my files and they're even providing a 50% discount if I pay the ransom in the next 48 hours. How kind of them. And also they've given email addresses to contact. They even mentioned my personal ID here. Now, what is this personal ID? We'll talk about it in some time. Here is the analysis of the ransomware on AnyRun. If you don't know what AnyRun is, it's a popular malware analysis website and many malware analysts use this website. And this analysis shows many interesting things that this malware does. The initial file that we manually executed first changes the system certificates to make your computer trust malicious websites. And then it downloads several other exe files from the internet. One of the exe file modifies the host file on your computer and by doing so, connections to several domains are blocked from your computer. So you cannot install new Windows updates and antivirus softwares or Windows Defender will not be able to collect this ransomware sample. In other words, it's basically leaving you unprotected. And then the actual encryption took place and all the files of particular extensions like JPEG or text or PDF or some other extension like this are targeted and they're all encrypted. And then the ransomware text that includes the contact email addresses, the ransom price, etc., etc., is written. But after that happened, there is something else happening. I mean, it already happened, I mean, that I did not expect. There is an information stealer attached with this ransomware. It's called VIDAR. I think it's pronounced as VIDAR, but correct me if I'm wrong. So this information stealer is stealing your cookies and the saved passwords from Chrome and Firefox. So in other words, this is not just a ransomware. These guys are even trying to steal your passwords and cookies. Sneaky bastards. So let's say you're affected by a ransomware. Is there a way to get back your files without having to pay the ransom? In order to answer that question, you need to have a basic idea of how a ransomware encrypts your files. Now, there is an algorithm in cryptography called RSA algorithm. A set of two keys are generated, one of which is called a public key and the other one is called the private key. The public key is used to encrypt the data and the private key is used to decrypt the data that is encrypted with the corresponding public key. 
Now note here that the public key cannot be used to decrypt the encrypted data. Only the private key can. What ransomwares do is that they generate a set of public and private key and they encrypt your files with this public key and they store the private key on their server. The public key still exists on your computer but it's of no use. You just cannot decrypt your files with the public key. You will have to need a private key which is available on the server of the ransomware. And if you recall back to the personal ID that I've shown you earlier, it's basically a kind of an identifier for me, I would say, because probably my personal ID is linked with my private key on the ransomware server. So in short terms, if you want to get your files back, you will have to need the private key, which is not available with you. It is available with the ransomware's other or whoever is running that business. And then in order to get that, you will need to pay the ransom. And even if you pay the ransom, there is literally no guarantee that you're getting it back. So the most simplest way to stay safe from such ransomware attacks is to do nothing stupid. Just do not do anything stupid. Do not download anything from untrusted sources. Do not download anything from spam emails. That's the most simplest trick to stay safe. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new from it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment down in the comment section. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.